What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another Pokemon that let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee discussion video. I wanted to make this video separate out of the Pokemon News Daily videos just to talk about the versions exclusive Pokemon inside of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee games. With these games basically being a remake of Pokemon Yellow, we were suspecting that we will see version exclusive Pokemon throughout this game and lord and behold that is a hundred percent true. We have a few obvious picks for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee version exclusive Pokemon that we would have seen a mile away that a lot of people were guessing and assuming before this actual information got out. But now that we have this information, let's jump into Cerebi.net. I'm going to have a link to this news article in the description below so you guys can check it out. But they basically laid the land of every Pokemon so far announced as a version exclusive. I think we're going to see a little bit more when we talk about Jinx. Electabuzz and Magmar. I think one of the two or at least two of them will be version exclusive to each game because that's how they were I believe inside of Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comment section below. Now let's go over Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu. The best version. I think you should get this version because of these Pokemon. One, I'm, I'm this is going to be the version that I'm going to get. Let's go Pikachu is going to be the version I play through first. I, I say I'm going to get because probably going to get both but it's going to be the version I play through first and that is because obviously it has Pikachu on the front cover but not only that it has Sandshrew is going to be a version exclusive to let's go Pikachu Sand Slash obviously the evolved form of Sandshrew then we also got Oddish Gloom and Vileplume we've seen Oddish inside of the Treehouse demo inside of Vermilion City Forest right in the beginning of the game and once I seen Oddish there I was like whoa they're changing up the lay of the land they're adding Pokemon in, in places they would probably be with their habit Habitat, which is pretty cool. I want to see, you know, a abundance of Pokemon in forest and not exclusive into one forest just because because that's how they were in previous generations. I think adding Pokemon and a diverse pool of Pokemon in places like Viridian City Forest makes sense. It's a forest one, but also make sure Pokemon that you can potentially pull from and add to your team more vast and diverse. And I think that is a key feature to the Pokemon game. Now, Oddish, Gloom, and Valplume being a three stage Pokemon, and we're going to get to that later also being a bone evolution pokemon again we're going to get to that later in the video when we break down what's on the let's go eevee side let's let's actually keep going because you know a stone pokemon is actually next we have growlith and arcanine now again growlith and arcanine being exclusive to let's go pikachu is to me the icing on the cake on why i'm going to choose let's go pikachu first because just that scene in that trailer of the trainer riding on arcanine oh my god it's a dream come true i get this image of my head of the pokemon origin series of arcanine breaking through the door you know with the flame blast or whatever in that first episode of that series and it's just so like oh just I just want to ride on the Arcanine. Pulse. I just want to ride on it. I just want my trainer to be running around on Arcanine. It's a dream of mine ever <laughs> since I was a kid. And I want to see it come to fruition. Arcanine is going to be in my party, obviously. And my buddy Pokemon that I'm going to be walking around with probably 100% of the time. Now, on the flip side of Let's Go Eevee, you got Vulpix and Ninetales. Again, a stone evolution Pokemon. A fire stone evolution Pokemon, just like um, Growlithe and Arcanine. I'm kind of curious on if we're going to be riding riding on a nine tails i would love it if we could ride on nine tails that would probably be a another reason why i'm going to get both because i do want that vulpix even though i could potentially train a vulpix from pokemon go which to me is clutch too because that's something i, I have tons of vulpix i could actually do that with but just the thought of riding on that nine tails is just like oh my god it's another thing a dream come true i can't wait a pokemon i can live without is meowth meowth persian again exclusive to let's go Eevee, and I would think this is going to be the opposite of Sandshrew and Sandslash being in Let's Go Pikachu. Now, to me, Sandshrew and Sandslash would be the better Pokemon. Meowth being a normal type in Persian as well. I can't think of a move pool that would, you know, benefit over something like a Sandslash, even though Sandslash is probably not the most powerful Pokemon in Gen 1, but Persian is probably lower than that on that scale. Let me know your thoughts on Sandshrew versus Meowth in the comment section below. Which one do you think is the better pick? 
pick and why and to me again the three evolutionary stage pokemon that's going to be version exclusive to let's go eevee is bell sprout weeping bell and victory bell now to me i think valplume is a better pokemon in my opinion but that could just maybe just be nostalgia talking especially with me every time i think about valplume i think about pokemon snap in that area in pokemon snap where you have to wake up the valplume and it just to take the picture of it to me it's just nostalgia written all over it i love the design of valplume over victory bell every time i think of victory bell and bell sprout that whole line i think of team rocket and how team rocket had a victory bell and it was always eating i think jesse to me it was just an, an annoying pokemon because of that and it kind of scarred my idea of victory bell but battle wise let me know in the comment section below which one will hold its weight in a battle they both are grass poison type pokemon so they probably potentially will pull from the same move pools but let me know in the comment section below which one you will pull from the two which you prefer a valplume on your team or a victory bell to me valplume is a hundred percent the goal for me now i do think potentially we're gonna see more version exclusive pokemon added to this list again i think magmar jinx and Electabuzz will be split up some kind of way. Maybe I think Jinx being the outlier, being in both versions of the game, and then Electabuzz and Magmar being split up between the two. I really hope we get Magmar in the Let's Go Pikachu, but they might throw Magmar in Let's Go Eevee because I believe Magmar was in blue. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comment section below. And is there another Pokemon that I'm missing from this list from potential version exclusive? Let me know in the comment section below and let me know what version you're gonna get because of version exclusive pokemon or version exclusive pokemon doesn't really matter to you because you have you've been playing pokemon go and you caught all of these pokemon so you could potentially just bring them over from go let me know your thoughts of version exclusive pokemon in the comment section below like always guys i'm daddy i'm fred on instagram and twitter and you guys can bring the conversation there i'm the american gamer in switzerland right here on youtube and yes i'm gonna be doing a ton of videos just like this one so if you enjoy please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next one